This video is for the setup and teardown of the glove bag that is located in the wet lab kit. My name is Tessa Kirkendall and I have a little boy joining us for the training. First you grab the uh, two seat track straps from the wet lab kit to deploy on the MWA. Take one strap, attach it to the back row of the MWA. It will loop around, you'll see, but that's fine once you put the glove bag frame in it. Take the second strap, attach it to the middle row of the MWA. Then retrieve the glove bag frame, tucking it into the first strap. You'll deploy the glove bag frame by just popping it into place. It is bungee cord corded together. So that is the deployed glove bag frame. Tuck the second seat track strap around the back of the glove bag frame to secure it in place. It will be tight in order to keep it steady during operations. You can wiggle it to make it straight. Making sure the Velcro in the front bottom of the frame is available in order to attach the glove bag. In order to determine if you have it right side up, there's a top label that will mate the Velcro to the top of the glove bag frame. Once the glove bag is securely attached to the glove bag frame, place all contents of your experiment and your hardware tools and consumables inside the glove bag. Then retrieve the glove bag clip to securely close the glove bag during experiment operations. Once I mate all the Velcro on the top of the frame and the bottom of the frame and the back of the frame to the glove bag, I remate the glove bag Velcro at the opening to align the opening flaps. Then I retrieve the glove bag clip, placing the rod on top. Make sure the glove bag is not folded or has excess glove bag on either side. You want to center the rod and clip. It is okay to overlap some of the brown tape corners. It will still seal the bag as long as you are past the Velcro pieces at the opening. First step in the spill cleanup, the off nominal situation, remove the glove bag from the glove bag frame by just detaching all the Velcro pieces. Once the glove bag is removed from the glove bag frame, the glove bag filter is retrieved that is used only for an off nominal situation such as a spill. Connect it to the glove bag filter port. Retrieve the vacuum and connect it to the end of the glove bag filter. Make sure the glove bag filter tubing does not have any kinks during the deflation and make sure that the vacuum path is clear of any of the glove bag sides so the air can be removed. By holding the back of the frame, push up with your thumbs. To fold down the back, place pressure onto the bottom of the frame while pulling up at the same time and folding down. Untuck the glove bag frame from the seat tracks and restow in the wet lab kit.